but here I am, and my words are certainly firm. A twist of the wrist. Welcome everyone to NBA basketball. Here, DA, take it away. <laughs> you already do. Here we go. You and he are winning players. David, thank you. And so off the tip, it's Toronto. Let's check out Toronto's starting lineup. Van Vliet and Ananobi are your wingmen. Clint Cavella is out there with Pascal Siakam. And it's Dragic in at the point. Fires from the line. That's good Ball on the Dragic. jump shot. Dragic has got the first points up on the board here for Toronto. And throughout his career, Dragic has been a leader. It's a natural fit for him. Duncan Robinson called him the ultimate leader. Dragic, a leader of his national team for a decade now. God just embraces the responsibility of it all. Here's Dragic after the main shot from Nikola Vucevic. And denied, he sends it right off the glass. Here's Levine and the jam by Levine. Nifty move by Levine, improving the handle every year it seems. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Raptors. Capella sets a screen for Van Vliet. Nice tee from Levine. I'll tell you, everything went right in terms of execution. He just can't get it to go. DeRozan for three. Rebounded by Capella. The Raptors have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Van Vliet passes to Capella. Good for the basket, starting off one for one with that shot. Well, you love the unselfishness of Fred Van Vliet. This guy is so good recognizing when his teammates are open. Levine against Van Vliet. Levine passes to Johnson. Levine trying to free himself up. Johnson can't hit. The Raptors have gone two for four from the field so far today. Ananobi against DeRozan. Van Vliet attacking. Vucevic with the block. Well, the reach, the timing, Vucevic using all of that 7-4 wingspan to turn that shot away. And again, Chicago, no good. To the inside. This will blow. This basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And, and once he got to the 10, I, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Williams, he's checked in for Chicago. Levine with it and guarded by Capella. Yes, that goes in. Levine's got his second basket. And Doris, we saw with the bubble how jarring a long break can be before the playoffs. Well, we certainly hope the bubble was a once-in-a-lifetime event for the NBA. The one thing you're thrilled about, Kevin, was that they were able to eventually crown a champion. Now here's Williams, following the miss by Pascal Siakam. Van Vliet against DeRozan. There's Prokic with the three. And so it looks like the Raptors will retain possession here. Now with a strong mix of perimeter and interior defense, these leading shot blockers among small forwards this past month have had a very good run at their own end of the court. Fourth, OG Ananobi. And that's a group of perhaps the most well-rounded defenders in our league. Solid on the perimeter with the ability to block shots on the interior. You know, that's a defensive combination you're sort of always looking right, for in wing players. Strong on the ground, strong in the air. There is no safe ground when one of them is on patrol. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Bradley's checked in for Vucevic. Derek Jones comes in for DeMar DeRozan. Whitey's checked in for Levine. And it's Alex Caruso in for ball. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. There's the triple. And it's White missing. And it's Barnes with the ball for the Toronto Raptors coming off that loss against Philadelphia. And defensively in that one, they needed to come up with big stops to quiet that crowd. And that's obviously easier said than done. I'll tell you this. It looked like they wanted to get out of town as quickly as possible. The problem is their defense went with them. And that's exactly what he's looking for draining the triple. Toronto trailer. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Jerome passes to Van Vliet. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. 
boy, a really tough quarter for this guy. Just struggling to make shots right now. Here's the drive. Here's Bradley. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. Well, he's such a good athlete for a center. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. 54 seconds left in the first. Here's Jerome. Here's Achua. The dunk by Achua. And, you know, it's one thing to get the offensive rebound, but then how about the loud bucket he's able to convert? He was in perfect position under the hoop, Greg, to right once he gets his hands on the miss. Jerome passes to Van Vliet. And there's the pass to Boucher. Here's Barnes. Lock at six. From deep. It's all in by the Bulls. They come into this having outplayed Phoenix the last game. Yeah, they, they were able to maintain focus in a hostile environment, and that led to taking shots that made sense. Well, I'm sure they're still enjoying that one. You love going into a tough building, tough place to play, and shooting the lights out. Nothing like silencing the crowd. Got it up. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Pulls out front, up four. From the United Center in Chicago, back in a moment. told us about start to get inside the frame and... break you love that unselfish style don't you yeah he can definitely score but you combine that with his passing and even more for the defense to worry about oh, oh. Wow. well multiple time winner of the slam dunk contest Levine has got a creative streak Nice job capturing the moments on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Now here's Dragic. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now he averages nearly 12 points a game. And taken away by Brown. And here we go. The Bulls fast break. Here's DeRozan. And he banks in the lane. DeRozan's got the lead up to eight now for the Bulls. Boy, officials say play on even though there's contact. To Rosen, I guess they don't think he needs any help. And it's hard to look at Troy Brown Jr. and see anything other than raw potential. That's, That's exactly right, right, because the physical tools are eye-popping, and he's always ready to step up for his team. The challenge, show the league you're capable of consistency. And the foul called on Pascal Siakam. That's his first foul. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Levine with it, and guarded by Cabela. And then Levine with the jam. When you think of Zach Levine, his athleticism pops, right? This guy off the drive, so hard to guard. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Rockets the pass to Siakam. Rockets against Levine. Some nice ball movement here by the Raptors. Six to shoot. And the dunk by Capella. And this is the chemistry Capella has with his guys. Exceptional at feeling when to go for Alley. Ball dishes to Brown. Inside, Vucevic. The shot's good. Brown making the play. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye open. Raptors trail by eight. Now Dragic. Now the feed to Capella. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And it's Chicago the other way. Last time they met was right here and they came out with a win. Yeah, they cruised to a win in these teams last encounter. And their field goal percentage was off the chart. DeRozan against Siakam. Driving inside. 
Chris Capella. That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. And that's Capella getting rewarded for his effort on the glass. Love when that kind of hustle pays off. Fred Van Vliet is checked in for the Raptors. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. There's Levine, stolen by Van Vliet. Tipped away. Dragic with a wide open look. Here's Siakam, and it's blocked by Brown. And the call will be against Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball. That's his first foul. Some changes for Chicago. Bradley's checked in for Vucevic. Williams comes in for Brown. And it's Kobe White in for Levine. And then for Toronto. Achua, he's checked in for Clay Capella. Chris Boucher comes in for Pascal Siakam. And it's Barnes in for Ananobi. Bradley is screen on Van Vliet. It's DeRozan with the drive. And it's White missing. Two minutes. Raptors trail by nine. Here he goes. They grab their own miss. Boucher misses the layup. And so it's DeRozan. He'll bring it up for Chicago. Ball gets to DeRozan. Dishes it to Bradley. It's tipped. And they're able to recover. He gets it in there. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Van Vliet wide open. Good on the three-point shot. Van Vliet's got himself on the board with three there. Uh, Van Vliet has proven more than capable as a legitimate three-point threat. Knocks down the jump shot there. It's Williams with the drive, and he finishes nicely on the way. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row. So for the Bulls, Derek Jones comes in for DeMar DeRozan, and it's Alex Caruso in for Lonzo Ball. Ladies and gentlemen, the lovable. Van Vliet against White. All right, fans, that was your lovable's dance team. Now here's Van Vliet. He's covered closely. That one's good. Maybe that'll get him going after a two for six start. Now you see the wherewithal of Fred Van Vliet. Finds the soft spot in the defense and converts. Here is Williams. He averages about uh, five points a game. Bradley passes to Caruso. Into the lane. <laughs> You don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Chicago shooting their first foul shots of the night here. First free throw is good. Alex Caruso at the line for two. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Raptors trail by ten. Barnes with it. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And what you get with Barnes, Greg, from Memphis versatility. And he gets others in ball. plays great defense. Has an excellent feel for the game. He doesn't have to score to impact winning. But if you need points from him, the young fella can provide that as well. And Toronto making a change here. Jerome is checked in. And at 6'5", White more than capable athletically, like the aggressiveness there. Barnes against Jones. Now here's Barnes. He's guarded closely. Just five to shoot. Shoots over Bradley. The putback. And folks, he did not look into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. And so it's the Chicago Bulls. A uh, hit by nine as the quarter comes to a club. The Bulls. Okay, David, much appreciated. Welcome in for halftime. And what's on tap, you ask? I can answer. So far, it's been a nice outing for the Chicago Bulls. I like what they're doing offensively. Looking at their field goal percentage, they're moving the ball, getting great looks, and of course, they're knocking down shots. I mean, that's the point of the game, isn't it? Shaq, right, that's the point? Obviously. Okay, and now moving on to what's been a fantastic head-to-head -head matchup at the two-guard spot. 
Yeah, man, this is what we were hoping for. The two alpha dogs are squaring off. And when the team leaders are staring each other down, it's extra proud of them. They're bringing out the best of each other. Down, boy, down. Thanks for joining us. Now let's toss it to Kevin Harlan for the start of the second half. third quarter of basketball for you two quarters in the books you look at Zach Levine he's really been playing well yeah and just look at the numbers from the first half he has been very efficient I think they've taken their time they've showed incredible patience it's a sign of a well-coached ball club our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third so for Toronto right now the forwards are Ananobi and Siakam. Dragic is out there with Fred Van Vliet. And it's Capella in at the center. Five to shoot. Levine for three. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assist. DeRozan's got three assists now in this one. Raptors trail by 12. Van Vliet looking around. Bob pass to Capella. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Ball kicks to DeRozan. Pass to Vucevic. Bulls moving the ball around. Levine against Van Vliet. It's stolen by Dragic. And Dragic with a clear path to the hoop. Got that bucket. And once Dragic gets ahead of steam in the open court, he is very hard to stop. Great play in transition there. Chicago leading by 10. On the wing, Johnson covered by Siakam. On the wing, Levine. Vucevic a screen on Van Vliet. And the jam by Levine. That's a great setup. Screen the defender off and let him elevate. All right, and what the timing ideal? My goodness, the D with no chance to react. Uh, the execution was simply flawless. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you run that play. No good from Trogic. I'm sure he's kicking himself. He hates to blow that kind of opportunity. Johnson sets the screen for DeRozan. Ananobi sends it back. OG Ananobi is fast off his feet. Seven foot two wingspan says twice on the pipes. This is it to Dragic. Takes the three. Wow. Came this close to a four point play. Led to the line for three free throws. It's on Zach Levine. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Greg, you've got a unique view of the league, not just a former player, but great broadcaster, courtside all these games, but also as a father. What's that journey been like? It's been surreal, Kevin. You know, anytime you have a child that has a passion for something you're passionate about, it creates a, a special bond. And to be able to watch him live out his journey has been incredible, and what a blessing. Uh, I would wish we'd all get to have that experience in some capacity. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. DeRozan finds Levine. DeRozan with a screen for Levine. Back to DeRozan. Levine trying to free himself up. And DeMar DeRozan the bucket on the assist by Levine. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been off. Patrick Williams, he's checked in for the Bulls. And then for Toronto, Chris Boucher is checked in for Clint Cabell. Barnes comes in for OG and Nobi. And it's Ty Jerome in for Goran Dragic. Well, brought up in an unselfish system, Pascal Siakam takes great pride keeping his teammates involved. It's Brown on the wing. It is now to Williams. Two points, that one goes. Williams has got his second basket of the night. That's how you share the rock. He does this time and time again. Two minutes remaining in the third. Boucher with a screen on ball. It's stolen by Vucevic. And here comes Brown, leading the fast break. Here's Williams. Back to Brown. Outside, ball. Picked by Vucevic. 
the drive by ball and ball goes it in yeah you've got to stay with ball when the pick comes you know he's looking to get the shot off. Raptors trail by 13 125 left to play in the third no one near Boucher as he lets it go the three-pointer no good a good board there Kevin but overall they're getting slightly out rebound and bleed on the wing and again Toronto no luck and even without that three ball dropping for him the defense should have done more on that last play Vucevic dishes to Levine Vucevic setting the pick for Levine and the jam by Levine boy you do not want Levine getting all the way to the rack where is the rotation 55 seconds left to play in the third Van Vliet passes to Jerome. And here is Barnes. To the middle. Here's Siaka. Nice pass. Run him to the rack perfectly for the layup. And that's now seven points for Siakam. 44 seconds left in the third. Barnes against Brown. Ball kicks to Vucevic. Levine dishes the ball. And Levine, here we go. And Levine throws it down. Zach Levine was so young when he entered the league, but this guy has been incredible on the offensive end. Raptors trail by 15. Here's Van Vliet. Rebounded by Vucevic. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Levine up top. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Levine. Levine's got 11 points in the quarter. What a fantastic finish by Zach Levine. Contact, yeah, I can finish through that. Here's Barnes. Two free throws shooting coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Zach Levine. It's on Zach Levine. Second shot two free throws in the game. Made Second one and two. missed one. That's good from Barnes. Shooting for Toronto. Scotty Barnes. No good on the second free throw. Here's a two up. And so it's Zach Levine making things happen for the Chicago Bulls. And of everything he's doing well, it's his scoring that you point to first. Already 22 points in this game. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. And when you're the beneficiary the of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. You've got White. Jones is out there with DeRozan. Then it's Williams. And it's Caruso in at the one. That's the five out there for the Bulls. And so it's Williams who brings it up for Chicago. And DeRozan kicks to Caruso. White the pass to Williams. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Pick by Williams. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Williams has got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for Chicago. And here's Dragic. Pass to Achua. Now here's Barnes. DeRozan brings the double team. Clock at four. Ananobi passes to Capella. Unloads from 13. And the call on the shot. It sends him to the line. Well, the backstory of Clint Capella is interesting. As he was only the second player, Greg, from Switzerland to make it to the NBA. Yeah, Kevin, you know, you don't think of basketball right away when you think of Switzerland. But the game has been so much in Europe over the years. Guys like Capella, who might have gone into soccer at one point, are now gravitating towards hoops. Raptors trail by 21. Barnes up top. Light covering. White with the defensive effort. Well, Chicago has gotten fewer than half of their three corners to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Levine kicks to Caruso. 
And he drives in. And Anobi sends it back. Barnes with it. Now defended by Levine. Barnes passes to Cabela. Back to Barnes. To the paint. Now, here's Achua. Light covering. Capella sets a screen for Dragic. Raptors need to get a shot at Achua. And I love seeing White use that athleticism on defense. Great hustle to swap that shot. Lonzo Ball is checked in for Alex Caruso. Siakam is checked in for Toronto. Levine against Ananobi. Levine passes to Vucevic, and Click Capella is going to pick up a foul. That is his first foul of the game. Fouling like that isn't how you get back in the game. Fred Van Vliet is checked in for Bond. Fred Vucevic setting the pick for DeRozan. And oh, the block shot grabs it out of the air. Ananobi has the open look. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. OG Ananobi increasingly dangerous with his jumper. Nice catch and shoot opportunity there. Ball kicks to Levine. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. And Levine throws it down. Yeah, you know, he's flat feeling their success. Most of the offense has gone through him. After his trail by 20. Van Vliet passes to Siakam. It's good. Well, Siakam pushing right through the contact. Go ahead, young sir. Bulls have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Two minutes remaining. Vucevic is screen on Siakam. DeRozan passes to Vucevic. Good D by Siakam. Toronto's gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. And the call will be against Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball. That'll be his That's second his foul second of the game. Personal foul. Second team foul. Chicago on defense. They've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And out of bounds as the Raptors gain possession. Raptors ball. The Bulls making a switch here. Coming Williams is checked in. For your ball. Greg and now, let's present our New Balance Player of the Game, with the Zach Levine. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. And that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made... Every shooting he sure has given this crowd a treat tonight. This kind of performance only cements his status as a fan favorite. And Dragic came into the NBA with something on his resume that not many other rookies have. He has a ring from winning the Slovenian Pro League the year before he came to America. And so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for the Bulls. They had a fantastic play from the bench. And this team has great depth, and they showed it in this game. And the strong effort here will convert into what will be their 50th win on the season. And they cap Blue off the Capella. season series with one more win. It's been nothing but W's, four straight. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Zach Levine. They simply can't stop him right now. This guy playing with passion and focus. Well, if you look up at the scoreboard, the time remaining this game is effectively over. Well, you have to appreciate the hard work that went into the building this lead. They have been terrific all night. Rogic against Vucevic. Rogic gets the bucket. Well, this is what they needed earlier on. At some point, it's too little, too late. Yeah, but then again, this run came against a team that may have felt it had already won, and you get the sense it let its guard down. Van Vliet outside. Here's Siakam. He's off on that one, and Chicago will go the other way with the ball. 
Rodgers. Williams takes it inside. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. What an impressive performance, to say the least. At this point, it looks insurmountable. Capella finds Van Vliet. The pass to Anano. Five on the clock. Here's Dragic from outside. They get it back. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Uh, I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldrich, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later.